the intro gonna be this tea, like, um, tea tree mint shampoo. Okay, so it's Saturday, it's the day before a hurricane here in Barbados. Hey, so two hours. Else to do it. Welcome back, my friends. I don't know when else I start a vlog in the car. Like, this ran by real old times when I used to start my vlogs in the car. But, anyways, I look a little bit crazy. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. So, we got straight into it. Right now, is this is another weekend vlog, and I am heading to the hair store because I need to get my, I'm getting my hair done today. So, I'm going to the barber tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done today. But I need to wash my hair and I'm out of shampoo. And I also want to get one of them scalp massagers. Like I usually use my fingernails to like dig up in my scalp. And I find like when I finish, my scalp is usually like very, very, very sore. So I was like, okay, this time around I'm gonna go to the hair store and I can get one of those silicone scalp massagers. Maybe it'll be a little bit more gentle on my scalp. And then also it will help, you know, to just like get out all the dry scalp on my hair. That my fingernails probably gonna get I don't know if you guys can see but like, I have a lot of dry scalp here anyway so that's what we are doing now I need to start and get some gas because my needle is on E E E E I feel like at this point we passed the E but yes I didn't have time to start and get gas so I was just like okay let me just pop up quick head down to the hair store get my stuff get some gas come back home wash my hair um, blow dry it oh I also need to get a blow dry I don't have a blow dry at home by me um, I used to use my mom's one so I need to also buy a blow dryer so as soon as I wash my hair I can blow it out because I find like when I get my hair done when I wash it it shrinks a lot and then if I get singles like they don't really pop because the shrinkage is like so extreme that it makes my hair look very sharp so I want to be able to blow dry out my hair to blow my hair when I wash it so I also gonna see like what blow dryers they have and like what's the price range and if I feel like spending I have this on up my face looks so swollen Wait guys, I see, I think the purple is coming up. My face looks so swollen. Excuse how my face looks, as I said. I look a little crazy. So, wait, the purple. Right. So, I'm just gonna put in this gas station, get some gas, and then I can catch you guys when we get to the hair store. I wanted to prop you guys up so I can talk to you better, so I wanted to like, mount you guys on my wing. On my, um, I wanted to mount you guys up, but, I cannot find my car mount, so I technically have to hold you guys in my hand. I have to hold you in my hand because I can't find my car mount. Anyways, I just got to the gas station, so let me just get some gas in this car and I can catch you guys when we get by the hair store. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I need one of the silicone scalp massage scrubbers. Uh, silicone. Yeah, I got these other skills. Um, oh, wait, is it? Yeah. Uh uh. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, maybe this one. Alright, so I'm back home and let me tell you, the hair store had nothing. Like, the hair store had nothing. Like, I can't even find a proper shampoo and conditioner in there. They had no OGX products. Like, 
that she needs. That, that may have nothing. That may have nothing. I don't know what they open for. So then I have to end up. Well, I got this from this hair store at least. The little scalp scrubber, as you guys saw. And I don't know why it looks like it's hard. So let me see. Oh, it's like. Oh, okay. Ain't that bad. This is how it looks. It looks like if it was a hard silicone, so it looks like it would have been hard on my scalp. But it's actually not that hard, like, yeah, that could work. Anyway, so I had to end up going to Aymar, which I should have gone to in the first place. And I don't understand how Aymar got more shampoos and hair products than the hair store. Like, how? Explain to me how Aymar got more products than a hair store. The whole reason you're a hair store is because you should have all the hair products. How Aymar got more products than you? That don't make sense. Anyway, so y'all know this is what I have been using. I've been using the OGX um, Tea Tree Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. And y'all know that I have dry scalp. So these are this is the only shampoo that's been working for me in terms of controlling my dry scalp. I don't know if y'all have any other recommendations, but and it's also something that works for natural hair because what I find works for relaxed hair doesn't work for natural hair. And I've been using like I feel like I've been through so much different shampoo products. But anyways, these work and it has in peppermint. Um, milk protein, tea tree oil, so it kind of helps. So anyway, so I just went back to the basics on what I know. She was showing me a different male shampoo, but I don't know. I've used male products before. I don't love them, to be honest. It was very drying on my hair, and the shampoo, the condition don't have a lot of slip, so it was very hard for me to detangle using the male conditioner, and that is the mint line. I don't know about the other lines, because I think she have like three different lines, the mint, the pomegranate, and some other thing. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, I decided to scrub my hair with this and see how this works on my scalp and see if my scalp comes out cleaner than it usually does when I use my fingernails or not. So I'm about to go and wash this hair, get this sorted, get this out of the way, and then we're gonna head to our hair appointment. I'm a bit hungry as well, so I just wanna get something to eat probably before I go to my hair appointment. My hair is breaking bad. Oh, I got a, um, a treatment as well. So I end up getting this deep conditioning pack. Right, and again, this deep conditioning pack from Olive Oil Palmers. So let's hope that this works for natural hair. And I can just decondition my hair after because, as I said, my hair is a little dry and I just want to decondition it. I was also in talks on whether I wanted to buy a blow dryer. So I saw one I marked for $80, but this time around I'm getting Conroe's and not singles. So I wouldn't. I wasn't really needing the blow, the blow dryer right now to do my blow. I really only needed it like if I'm doing singles and I wanted to blow my hair so my singles could fall along and it wouldn't be dropped. So I didn't bother to get the blow dryer because that's extra $80 I didn't need to spend. Next hairdo is when I would get singles so I probably would get the blow dryer then so that I can blow my hair myself before I go and get my singles. So yeah guys, that's it. I'm gonna let you guys see, I'm gonna just shampoo my hair as I said. Take a shower one time and then I can head to my hair appointment. So shampoo my hair, come back, grab quick lunch, get something to eat, and yeah. So shampoo my hair, come back, grab something to eat quick, then get ready to head to my hair appointment. Then as I said, tomorrow is my barber appointment. And that's it. In here looking a mess. As per usual, I had made breakfast this morning and I did not wash the bears as per usual. So now I need to wash these dishes a little bit. Not a little bit. Like, I need to wash these dishes quickly. And then, what time is it? Okay, I got a little time. So yeah, let me wash these dishes quickly and then go and do my hair. Then let me head to the hair appointment.
So I just got back from getting my hair done. I got some cornrows this time. I don't know, regular degla, what you usually get. Anyways, I was so hungry, I just got back home and I just fried up some rice that I had in the fridge. I kind of do it like a stir fry rice, so I just fried the rice with some egg and soy sauce. I got some mixed veg in the cupboard, but I don't feel like adding any mixed veg. And I got some fish in the air fryer, which I need to turn. All right, right, yeah, so yeah, that was it. So I was back home for like 15, 20 minutes now. I just did that before I picked you guys up because I was hungry. I got slight headache and getting car rolls is pain. But anyways, I'm gonna eat that. I need to go to the supermarket, grocery store. I forget, I was in like, yeah, I need to go to the groceries. I need to get groceries, um, all them groceries that I bought last month, gone. So I need to get stuff, but I'm on a budget this month, so. I need to write me, I need to write me a list. So I'm going specifically for only what I need. Not going for anything else. So I just need to get like basic stuff. My toilet paper is finally down to like the last roll. So that lasts me a pretty long time. Like I feel like I haven't bought toilet paper since I moved into this apartment. Like I bought a lot of toilet paper in bulk. So that's finally gone now. I need to buy about another set in bulk. I need to buy paper towel. I just need to get regular butter, pancake. So just just little knickknacks, like nothing huge or nothing major, just like small little stuff that I need to get to re up the house for the month. Um, so I would not be eating out or buying food. I've been trying to not buy food or to not spend on necessary money. Like just not in the car on my way home, y'all don't know how much it paying me. The old me would have stopped and bought KFC or Chefet, but the new me that trying to eat healthy and save money was like, Hakeem, nope, you got rice in the fridge, you got eggs home, you got fish in the fridge that done season up, go home, do an egg fried rice, I put it that fish in the air fryer and eat that and don't spend no money. So yeah, that's what I did. So I can just pop into the market, get my stuff, and then probably later tonight I'm probably just gonna do a salad. Um, that way I don't need to spend money again to buy food after going to the supermarket. And yeah, that's it really for today. I just gonna eat my food. Yeah, that's it really though. I just gonna eat my food, watch some TV. I need to send a couple emails and then we can head to the supermarket. I'm not going to Poplar this time because I don't feel like driving all the way out there. So I'm just going to Massey and Sky Mall. And yeah, that's it. So I'll catch you guys when we head into the grocery store. I don't know if I'm taking you guys in the grocery store because there's a storm that's supposed to be coming on Sunday. So I already know the supermarket is going to be pandemonium today and tomorrow. So I'm not lugging around with no camera in the supermarket. I want to get in and out. So y'all not going to the supermarket with me, but we can do a quick little grocery haul when I come back. Maybe or maybe not. But yeah, so that's it guys. Nothing much really happening. Friday is going fast. Like it's literally evening already. And I don't know where the day gone. The day practically gone and I haven't done much but work. Get my hair done. That's about it. But yeah guys, anyway, so that's it. I'll catch you guys a little later. It's later in the evening. Yo, I am so tired. I do not feel like going to the gym at all. But we got pushed through. We got pushed through. We got pushed through. It's seven o'clock right now, and seven thirty. And I'm supposed to go to the gym for eight o'clock. And this week I've been so tired. Like I don't know if I told y'all, but this week I basically so we played tennis Sunday for two and a half hours. I took a rest Monday. I went to the gym Tuesday. I went to the gym Wednesday. I took a, I played tennis Thursday. That show was yesterday. No, today's Friday. Today's the last day of the gym. And y'all, like, I've been so tired. Like, I've been tired, tired, tired. Like, right now, I don't feel like going to the gym. But we gonna push through. We gonna go to the gym. My head's so sore. Let's see, my bishop, where it is. All my gym clothes are dirty, by the way. I need to wash. So technically all of my gym clothes are dirty. So that's what I had trying to find. What I want to put on. Let me just put this. Let's put this white shirt. But I think I'm gonna leave a little early because I'm gonna stop and buy a uh, actually wear this blue shirt. I'm gonna wear this blue shirt. I'm gonna wear the white shirt. <laughs> it's just 
me being decisive bullshit I'm already mm -hmm. gym. But I think I can just stop and buy some coffee. I can buy a first scanty espresso before I head to the gym. Because honestly, y'all, like, I'm, I'm real tired. I'm too tired. And the reason I've been trying to hold off a coffee is because when I buy this coffee now, I might get a little pump in the gym. But then when I come back home, that's it. I can can't sleep. <laughs> and I get me up all night. So, but anyways, I need a little pump though because I'm real tired. I honestly real, real tired. And I don't feel like going to the gym right now. But when you don't feel like doing things, is when you push through and do it. And I don't feel like going to the gym, so I can just push through and do it. Right, so I'm going to stop back coffee. And hopefully that coffee gave me a little energy. But I just know that when I come back home, I can can't sleep. But that's fine. I'll find something else to do. But y'all, my head is so sore. So, so, so sore. So anyways, let me just go to here. Let me spray on a little, a little sand. Let me get my... Flies, like not flies, flies, but I don't want to say them as fruit flies. But you know, like them little flies that you see on the fruit flies, right? I be seeing those, so I try not to laugh food around the place. Or I try not to leave dishes in the sink for too long because I don't like them little flies. I don't like them little flies at all, anyways. And then we need to make a shit. So I bought that. Uh, so I bought an insurer. So this is just a max protein insurer and 150 calories. Because I don't have any more protein powder. The protein powder I like to use, Price Smart, don't have any more. And so I just wanted to get in my protein. But this is very thick. I was like, I don't, I don't remember an insurer being so thick. I was like, Corey, you sure standing around with this? Because she thick. When is she? Um, I had to look at the expiration date. Yeah, as far as in December. But I just don't know why it's so thick. I can show y'all how thick it is when I done. But she thick, thick. I was like, uh, same for she. Stay around with that. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm like bad. You know, like when things just curled a little bit. Does that see me good? Don't you feel like I look dark? Let me change the angle. I always have it. That's a better angle. Right, guys. So I'm just gonna get a little shit now. And then we just hang out tonight. We chilling. And then me and Joe, we ain't got nothing going on tonight. But just chill you guys. We can just talk, chat it up. 
Um, this week I've been a little draining, as I said earlier. I was just working out, working out, working out all week. And we have a storm that's coming. So this is my first storm living alone. Y'all can see me. I feel like I just look dark. I'm in dark. Let me see. Anyhow, so I was saying, right, this is my first storm alone. So I don't know. Hopefully there's not like too much rain or nothing like that, but the only thing I would say is in my bedroom, y'all see the window that I have? I need to get a curtain put up at that window because when I lay in my bed, I can see like straight down like a view of Barbados. And when the lightning flashing, let me tell you, you can see everything. So I don't and I just feel like I outside. I literally just feel like I laying down outside in the lightning. So I was like, oh no, I need to get a blind and put by that window because Maybe got storms and tender storms. You put like no. I want to pull across that blind. I don't want to feel like if I want, to, I got to see the lightning. So now I literally feel like if I go lay down and look through the glass and look at the lightning every time it flash. A little bit, a little bit scary, but we'll see how it do. Hopefully it doesn't flood a lot because these doors are not that. Yeah, the way these doors are situated, if this hallway get flood out, in my apartment definitely can get flood out. So. Hoping that there's not much rain, or if there is a lot of rain, that the rain don't um, flood the hallway. But anyways, how is your week? How's it been going for you guys? You guys work this week? You guys in gym? Like, I just ran at this point. We just, we just talking. Oh, I got this fat note that is Sunday. I'm going to awaken on Sunday. The storm's supposed to come. Sunday evening. So I'm hoping that the rain do not fall in the morning and we get to go to I feel like I want to look across at the side all the time. Right, so I'm saying hopefully the rain I'll pack in. Rain don't fall on Sunday and the rain fall after the fact. Because it's very mad if everybody dress up and the rain fall and it's just a muddy muddy fat. Like here ain't a fat like muddy. So I hope that the rain don't fall and then just all the clear some muddy and in a mess. So we ain't upset. But so that's okay with that cheap. And I want to go and eat my food and enjoy myself and don't go away with the rain. The rain could come after. We could deal with the rain when we get home. But not in the party. Not in the party, girl. No rain in the party. Anyways, y'all. Let me shut up until it's time to make this shit. Alright, let me show y'all how thick. How thick this shit look. Ain't sure it don't be this thick. Ain't sure it just be this thick. I feel like it's wrong with this. me y'all know I already done turn off by this thickness I already done turn off I want this I already done turn off by this because this thickness is destroying me off uh, I don't know what that looking so but we can we can see we can try to make it we can try to make do with it because I want this it don't smell it don't smell bad or anything it smells like a normal insurance so it don't smell off 
But the fact that the test just are off, it already done trim me for a loop. It already done got me feel like, I don't know if I want this, but I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste it. Because insurance don't be cheap. So we can see if I could blend it up and judge it up and the consistency could change a little bit. Definitely could do with a little bit more sweetness. And that's usually where the banana come in, but I don't have any banana, so we gonna do what we have. Alright y'all, so <clears throat> I have some work to do. So we can just chill for a little bit, do some work. I have some items to pick up for sponsorship. So remember I mentioned to you guys that we have a sponsorship coming up. So I have some items to pick out, and this is like two or three days now I was supposed to pick out these items. And I wanted to think that I'm not interested, so I need to pick out these items and get this all the way so that these items can be shipped off to me. So that's what we're gonna do now. I just drink my shit, pick out these items, and so let me see. Let me find this link. So it was okay. I can't remember my login. Let me see if I remember my login. Y'all just remember y'all passwords. I feel like I has got to take all my passwords and save them. Right, so I has got to save all my passwords because honestly, I be forgetting these passwords. Anyway, so I found it. Let me confirm this is me. This is Rain. Campaign continue. Let me see. Agreement details. Make sure you're not strong in it. She's okay, man. I feel like I'm trying to perform it. Cool. This is a lot, child. This is a lot. This is a lot. I gotta read all this. Like, <laughs> I definitely gotta read this entire agreement. If you reside in Canada, by email at. If you reside in any country, you'll say that. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So the way how these companies work, in my head, I was like, don't they need to send me an agreement? Like, we just. Communicated via email, we exchanged, then we agreed via email that we were gonna do the partnership. They agree on the price, we agreed to move forward, and then they sent me a link where I can go and choose the item. So in my head, I was like, aren't you supposed to send me an agreement to sign? But now I actually log in, actually click on the link and come onto the link, I can see that they have all of the information here. So there's an agreement here, choose free products to be completed. They see that the free products you want to photograph. Okay, this, this is a cute little platform, but this agreement is a lot. I gotta try to, um, I gotta try to PDF this because this is a lot for me to read right now. Alright, yeah, so I had to make sure my bedroom, my bedroom wasn't getting wet. Because I just have my bedroom windows open all the time, so I had to make sure the rain wasn't coming through. Right, but I thought this was the same fun that we could do together. But maybe I'll come back a little later. I need to go and focus on this. I need to reach this agreement properly, see what it's signing up and getting myself into. And I can reconvene with y'all a little bit later. All right, if y'all don't see me back tonight, I will see y'all in the morning. Bye. Okay, so it's Saturday. It's the day before I heard here in Barbados. Right now, I'm actually heading to the supermarket first because I just gonna get a couple of little stuff. Like I got tuna and stuff home. I don't really eat a lot of canned food. But I got my tuna and stuff home, but I just need to grab like a couple other little things for the month. So we run into Massey quick, and then we're going to a barber appointment. Then I have a little line to go to. And then we need to get our outfit ready for tomorrow. So that's what we're doing today. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys are being safe. I hope you guys have prepped. I hope you guys are going to the supermarket. My gas tank is full. Luckily, I filled it up yesterday after driving on E for two days. <laughs> I don't recommend that, but it should be. <laughs> 
I gotta do what I gotta do. I, I, I know my car, okay? I know my car, so yeah. We had a Tomasi, then Barbara appointment, then we going to Lime, then we going back home, and then we getting ready for our event, then we going to party ahead of this storm. Like right now, I feel like it's a race against the storm. That's how I feel. Usually when a storm is coming, it's a race to board up your windows, sign back up your place. Right now for me, it's a race of, we gotta get to this event, we gotta get this event done before the storm, like that's a little bit immature of me but anyways as i said the event was already planned before the storm and the show must go on what what is down here bird 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 what have you name what have you name can't stop the show change I'll pop my groceries and we're ready to go I have my little bike here with my feet charts and stuff oh I need to get my wine and yeah the supermarket was a mess anyways so I just got my little beat charts and stuff I got this package that I need and yeah we had no so we had anything to oh I'm so hungry I need to get something to eat I was gonna just prep them myself but I don't feel like I got time to prep them myself so I can just stop at Shafet, but it's saying quick, we probably like a little roti or something like that, or maybe like chicken nugget. So I just stand quick and then we head into the thing. She got funny sauce, right? She got funny sauce, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh. Alright, thanks. Reach all the way up from the yard. <laughs> yeah. Wait, oh my god, it's a crop. <laughs> I can't out with these crop top shirts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, so there's the option. Let me show y'all what it was looking at. Yeah, I know this shirt gonna fit, but anyways, that's the old fit.
Okay, guys, so the star is four, though, No, it's a category four, three. Yeah, four. Big end, okay. I can message you again, hold on. Bye. 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 All right. Everybody take some water. Yeah, I'm you all to get home safe. Yeah, I'm you need everyone home safe. You please take some water. She was down there looking for you. All right, guys. So we gone. We out. Be safe. See y'all after the storm. Hurricane. I don't think we spoke y'all, but. It is Sunday evening and we have a storm. Well, it's a hurricane though. We have a hurricane coming. And I, I was like, actually, I gotta talk and do what I gotta do on top. But I was like, how oh, this thing, this is my first storm alone, by the way. So, y'all, this is my first time living alone and having to do a storm. Like, usually, my mother do all this stuff. So, I just got noticed that the water is gonna be turned off at 7 30, is 7 15. So, literally, in 15 minutes, we will not have water. So I'm about to, well I'm actually here catching some water so I can have water in case I need to do anything. I don't know how long the water me off. So I'm just going to catch some water in some pots because I don't have a bucket. And I'm also going to wash up these wares I have in the sink because I cooked earlier. So we went to, well I went out to a party. I didn't, I didn't film anything. I, I think the last time we spoke was yesterday. So today I didn't film anything at all. But right and truly, this morning, we were all out partying. Like literally, a hurricane come in and we out partying. But to, to be fair though, like obviously everybody had a ticket. Everybody already done had plans to go to the fair. And we didn't know if a hurricane was coming, so we still have to like go to the fair. The fair was still happening, so it's not like they postponed it or cancel it. So we still had to go, cause like who ain't sending money? But anyways, the fair was good. The rain did not fall, so it was hot. Let me tell you all today was hot. Today was hot as hell. I can insert some footage from the event because I didn't vlog, but I got some footage for like my TikTok and stuff, so I'll insert that. Yeah, so y'all see, when I came home, well, let me tell you, I was not so, so drunk because I didn't get that drunk, but I was a little, little bit tipsy. And I cooked, I slept for a bit, and yeah, now I'm here catching this water. I feel like every every pan that I got like a whole water, I literally put water in. But outside of being so calm, it literally is a category four. It literally is a category four hurricane. But let me tell y'all, outside is so still, it's so calm. The winds are blowing a little bit, but nothing too crazy right now. But outside is so calm. Like it's so calm. The sunset was so beautiful. This is the sunset here. Like, really and truly, if you don't watch the news, like, you will never know a, a hurricane is coming. So, actually being here and seeing how outside looks versus actually watching the news and seeing the hurricane on its way, it's almost like, what? That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, let me wash these here real quick. And we can talk after. Alright guys, so I already catch my water. This is what it looks like. Again, I don't have any bucket, so I just catch two of these full of water. My saucepan and this saucepan. So yeah, I think that's all the water I'll be needing. And yeah, I just did some laundry, so I just gonna fold up my clothes. And just lay in my bed, watch TV. Basically, that's it. Nothing else to do. I already have my power bank charged. I'm gonna plug back in my phone now. Actually, I should plug it in now. Oops. Yeah. Actually, yeah, my phone's at 82%, but I can get my charger. I can charge it in a little bit, in a minute. Right. So that's it, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna, actually, not gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me through this hurricane. And yeah, I just did some laundry, so I just need to fold up these, um, fold these clothes, put them up so that my bed can be clear and I'm just gonna lay in my bed and watch TV until I am ready to sleep or until this hurricane comes. Y'all, the only thing I hate about this is I have this door in my bedroom and I don't have any curtain rods by the door or I don't have any curtain. So literally while I'm laying in my bed, I can look through this window 
and I can see everything. I can see the lightning, everything. <laughs> so if there's a lot of lightning, I definitely can see it through that window and sometimes I don't want to see that. So definitely as we go into the hurricane season, that's something I definitely want to do. So I definitely need to put a curtain rod there and I need to put a black hole curtain there. Because when we got bad weather and we got lightning, I don't want to be laying in bed and I feel like if I outside laying down with the lightning. Because that's how it feels basically. So yeah, we got we got to stand with our window. We can't do that with it now, but you know, just as we go through the hurricane season, we get by by the light. Definitely. Because the other night I was laying in bed and we had lightning and thunder. And I was literally laying in bed and the lightning felt like like it felt like I was laying outside. That's literally how it felt. I mean it's great when outside. My battery dying. Anyway, it's great when outside is bright and sunny because it's a clear view of like the valley and parts of the island, but when it's raining and it's lightning. I don't like that view because, like, as I said, I literally be lying there and I be seeing every stroke, every lightning strike, and I just be like, Ugh, okay, I just. just. Anyways, my battery gonna die. I can fold up my clothes, watch the TV, I can check in with you guys later. Right now, as I say, outside is calm. There's just a little bit of wind, but nothing serious. But I can charge, I can charge my camera batteries a bit, just so I have batteries and we can vlog and we can be together through this hurricane because this is my first hurricane together. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later because my battery is about to die.